I want to welcome everyone here. It's uh, very special to be in Peoria and East Peoria and Central Illinois. It's uh, the heart and soul of Illinois, and Caterpillar is the heart and soul of our economy. And uh, we really had an excellent meeting with Doug and other members of the Caterpillar family. We're in the original uh, boardroom, uh, at least the we had the original desk, I guess, of the, of the folks who started this great company almost a century ago. And we were very much indebted to Mr. Holt and uh, Mr. Best, uh, who uh, started the company. They came to Central Illinois. They saw the promise of uh, putting a business together with great workers and understanding that the markets are not only in our own state of Illinois, but our whole country and indeed our world. And uh, one of the things we talked about a lot today was export. Last year, Illinois increased its exports to the world by 20%. And we can do the same thing this year and years to come. We want to double our exports in the next five years. And one of our leading exporting country, companies is Caterpillar. And they do business with many countries around the world. And part of my job as governor is to make sure that we work well with leaders of other countries, make them welcome in Illinois, uh, listen to them and work with great companies like Caterpillar and John Deere and many others. Uh, uh, Doug is the son of a John Deere salesman and we like John Deere, located not far from here. But I think it's important to understand that these brand names, these Illinois brand names, whether it's Caterpillar, whether it's John Deere, whether it's Navistar, uh, whether it's uh, uh, Chrysler, uh, Ford, all of them are manufacturing right here in Illinois and growing in Illinois. And I personally want to thank uh, Doug and Caterpillar for their promise to invest $1 billion in Illinois plants of Caterpillar uh, to be modern, to be efficient. They understand the importance of energy efficiency. It's very important that we all do that together. Families and businesses across Illinois, we want to uh, conserve energy where we can, be more efficient. That's the American way. And Caterpillar can help show that way for us. I received an award earlier today on a green way of thinking and a green way of acting. And Caterpillar is one of our greenest companies in Illinois. They're going to be uh, exporting locomotives. May, uh, some of them are manufactured in LaGrange, Illinois, uh, and working with uh, other countries around the world to make sure that those are uh, well received. Now, we also talked about a very important issue right now in our state. Uh, I have uh, told our businesses, our doctors, our hospitals, our insurance companies, our trial lawyers, our workers, we have to have workers' compensation reform in Illinois this year, right now. In the legislature's meeting, I've proposed a plan. It's a good plan. Uh, it's a plan that everyone can live with and it can save money for the state of Illinois and taxpayers and definitely for businesses. It's a fair plan. Uh, nobody is going to get scalped under this plan, but some folks are going to have to take a haircut. The bottom line is we spend $3 billion in Illinois on workers' compensation costs. Uh, that's very high. We're one of the very, very highest in the country. That's not helping our business situation. What we want to do is have a fair plan, fair to all, to reduce those costs, especially for our businesses, our manufacturing businesses. Our plan uh, will reduce the costs by at least 15 percent, by more than $500 million. That's half a billion dollars. And it's very important that our legislators in Springfield, Democrat and Republican, both houses, get this done. And as governor of Illinois, I'm going to keep pushing till we get it done. And I really look forward to working with uh, Doug and Caterpillar and many, many others on work, workers' compensation reform. If we do that, if we continue to export, our state, just keep it in mind, last year we were uh, number one in the Midwest at creating jobs. More jobs were created in Illinois than any other state. And I want to thank Caterpillar for help, helping in that area. Uh, we were fourth in the whole country. We've been rated on the top ten by Site Selection Magazine as a place to do business. Because why? We have great companies and we have great workers in those companies. Never underestimate the ability of Illinois workers to get the job done. We believe in education. We believe in skills. We believe in community colleges. 
Those are things that Caterpillar has exemplified throughout its entire existence. Investing in their workers, investing in export, investing in everyday people. So I really see this as a great day, great opportunity. I asked Doug to serve on our export uh, council and he uh, graciously agreed to do so. We're gonna be having an export conference in Chicago, hopefully in late June. Uh, where we'll bring in people from Washington and everywhere else in Illinois. We want to teach all our businesses to do it the Caterpillar way, do business with the whole world. I worked for a company a long time ago, Coilcraft. The founder of that company told me his greatest aspiration, the greatest inspiration, I guess you'd say, was he was in New Orleans, at the port of New Orleans, and he saw an ocean of Caterpillar uh, heavy equipment, bulldozers, machines, sitting there to be exported to the yeah, world. Like Amen. Yeah, we like the ocean. <laughs> and that's what we got to do in Illinois. We've got to work together with companies and workers to make Illinois products the envy of the world. That's what they are today, and that's what they will be tomorrow. And, Doug, why don't you say a few words? Thank you, Governor. Yes, and, and we did I have an excellent meeting. I think we met about an hour or so. Uh, I don't think either one of us could get a word in edgewise. <laughs> thinking about what we can do together to improve Illinois. Uh, we've got a lot of good things going for us in Illinois. And as the governor said, we have been on a roll in Illinois to invest. Our mining business is growing. It's a big piece of our company going forward. Electromotive Diesel is a company we bought last year with a big plan in LaGrange, Illinois. So we're invested heavily here. And we are going to work together to find a way we can invest more here and continue to be proud of our state as, as we move on. Certainly there's lots of areas to work together and exports is, is a key one. We exported last year 13 and a half, almost 13 and a half billion dollars of goods from the United States. A big piece of that right here in Illinois. If you look at our Decatur plant, our East Peoria plant and our Aurora plant where we make big equipment, upwards of 70% of every day's production is for export. We have to have those markets. Those are good plants, efficient plants. We're investing in them. We will spend a billion dollars over the last several years, and when we get done with them in the next couple years, in revamping them to make them the best of plants in the world in that business. So we're happy about that. We talked a little bit about Workman's Comp, mm -hmm. and we really need help on this one. And uh, the governor is committed to do that. Uh, I'm encouraged by what I heard on that one. That's a big piece of our competitiveness issue uh, around the state. We talked a lot about infrastructure build. Uh, capital expense around the state as well. We have got to be competitive in Illinois, competitive in the United States to take on emerging competitors we see every day around the world. And I'm convinced the governor is, is uh, out in front on that to lead us through as the CEO of the state. He has the ability to do that and he's good at that. I will also say, and I complimented him this morning, uh, and I do so here, that he has brought a degree of honesty and integrity back to our state that has been lacking for a long time. And that is important to the image of our state. It's important to all of us as business and, and citizens of Illinois. And I think that image is changing. And he and I talked a lot about how we can help each other to make that happen. So a very good meeting this morning. I would say uh, as CEO to CEO, state of Illinois to Caterpillar, it couldn't have gone better. And I'm very happy about it. Thanks a million. Thank you, Thanks Governor. Thanks for the kind yes, words. Thank you. Yes, indeed.